Anna Marie is making these gazing balls out of, oh, where am I? Ornaments. <laughs> where am I? Ornaments, plastic ornaments. I got these at Walmart. And I've been working on these for a couple days because the painting part. Hmm, sorry, took a sip of my coffee. Couldn't resist. Is taking a little longer than I thought. I had a couple ideas that didn't work. Uh, my first idea was to use these. Where's one that's not what's available? Um, these um, fantasy things. Uh, I don't. Anyways, these and it got really neat colors inside, but then they all kind of drained out. Here's one that left overnight all it totally drained out all the colors so it was kind of a matter of playing with it and um, I did manage to keep some color in but um, I was really slow to move it around and that kind of stuff so these are the ones I'm working on right now still so what I did was this one here is the one that doesn't have any other paint in it except for the purple of these, which I have one here is this color. So this purple, can you see? I'm in a. So I use that, and then that this is the result. This is the overnight result. I did, however, see see all this stuff here to get that look. I did put um, once I was really good and this was I was doing this forever churning and churning and churning like gosh playing with it for a good hour with all of them and chatting with my daughter so this is kind of a thing that you can't really do a video along with it anyway so I put this glitter in there and then I moved around because I knew there was some wet paint still in there um, but before I did the glitter and I noticed it was settling in I splashed some ink um, gold ink in there and of course the gold ink didn't really want to stay I have it away it's just gold ink and then it was kind of beating off the plastic and whatever and I tried one on a plain one so it was just beating off the plastic so but it kind of picked up on some of the it was kind of like flex flex of gold that really nice so then I put the the uh, glitter from Michaels in there and it kind of looks like I don't know craft or something it looks kind of neat now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some silver paint in there um, and this one and then these ones I put the same um, paint but I put like a, a brownish gold uh, antique gold and whatever like gold and I've been moving it around really slowly so this one was kind of on the red side like this exactly like this this is just these little things here but and gold and this is how it dried. So it wasn't like, oh, I was so disappointed. Because yesterday it looked so nice. I was so disappointed. So, I've been working on that. Now, um, so today, this is my experimental one. Because I was putting some heat on it. And then I totally destroyed it. So I used it to make, to add the paint with what I had in there to see the experiment. So this one had more of the red one right here in there. So I used it as an experiment to see if the gold paint on top would wash it all away or what. So it looks really good. So then I decided to keep that one just for, because I was using it as an experiment. Because I don't want to mess it up anymore. I was like really disappointed. But, so here is one. And I'm still, I'm not sure how much paint's going to stay in. I've been letting paint come off of it. And this one's got the green that's of, um, these it's in here it's right here ah. and I got the reds that are in here and mixed it up and I even have you know uh, the liquid that's supposed to make it um, I poured some of this in there hoping that I would get like that, that spider webby look or whatever that when you pour that in anyway playing and just I'm just don't know right so I've been and this one's been upside down for a while and I leaked out most of the paint I think but this is what it looks like. So I also did the sparkles in there and I also did the ink, gold ink. So it's kind of going to be one of those things that takes a long time. This is, took a long time. <laughs> it's like experimenting with paint. If you put it in there and you swirl it in, you can get a nice paint. But it just, it, what you get when you first look at it is totally different than what you get at the end. Of it. Okay, so since I couldn't get my rotary whatever the heck tool working, I have to heat tool these. I'm still not sure which 
bulb I'm going to use on these two. So I'm going to just use my heat tool to melt the center so I can put a cord through there. And they're still dripping. This is day three. Some of them are still dripping. This one's still dripping paint. Crazy. But there we go. Didn't get that done. And I'm just going to melt the hole since it's plastic. And both my tools, what are they called? Rotary tools? Or how do you say that? Um. Natty? And I can't believe it's still wet after day three. Must have had a lot of paint in there. Rotary, whatever. Little drill thingies for crafting. Rotor, rotor tools. Yeah. Anyway. So I'm just heating up so I can have a hole in the bottom. And they're dripping still after day three, so that's crazy. I must have had a lot of paint in there that I thought I dripped out, but who knows, whatever. But it's getting done. This one seems to be fine, but... So I'm just melting that so then I can stick my... Can you see the hole? Can't see the hole. Can't see it through. I can see through on this side, just can't see through the other side. Okay, so that's that. So I can string it and whatnot. So I'm just using my heat tool, the same one that I used to, it's actually the same, I couldn't even find my end, so it's the same end that I used to um, do my cutting through plastic and do my shakers with and whatnot, cutting through the plastic sheeting for, you know, making stencils or whatever, same tool. And there we go. With the tops, I think I'm going to take the pieces out like this <clears throat> and just use my piercing, whatever tool this is called, and get it done like this and just get it in the center. I still think it'll hold the piece that we just took out and the string can go straight through. So that's what I'll do because there's so much pressure for it to go out these that I think it'll be okay. It'll hold, see? So I'm just going to do that in the center of all these and just that way I have a place for my string that I'm going to bead my beads through. And then this is my last one. <clears throat> Got a lot of paint on there. Wants to stay on. And this is a nice tool for that. Because this is, uh, well, I mean, like, the tool costs $10 with the uh, other parts. The, you know, for the rivets and all that kind of stuff thing. So if I wreck it, <clears throat> it's not a big deal. But you don't want, I don't know if you want to use your Cricut or, or um, your crop, Cropodile on there. I don't know. Anyways, that's it. I decided to use craft wire because I don't think I have anything thin enough to work with this. But I'm just going to put it through. And, um, like, I'm going to post Rita Marie's video, too, and how she done hers. Um, she painted on the outside of hers. I managed to take a couple of days of fixing up the paint and going through it. And, <clears throat> um just getting it on the inside and but I really do like how hers came out it's so shiny it's, you can't even see that how do I do this can't even see well I'm going to start with the little one anyways is it really that curly there we go can't even see that it uh, was painted on the outside can't tell the difference so that's pretty cool it popped out. Right. So I have paint coming on here because it's still, after three days, still wet. Crazy. So I'm going to do a little one first here. 
and I have a spare one of these because I'm going to put it through the top and now I'm just going to cut from the bottom and then I'll just add on my wire that I need down there. I'm going to widen this a little bit. Stick it on there after I get it on. I'm probably way too close to the table with the camera, but whatever. Okay, pushing it through, and I'm just going to do that. Start the small one, go to the big one. Now it's wired through. To me, it's just going to be easier. At least it doesn't make it look easier right at the moment. You might be like, what is she doing? But I have to do some beads on there first. So I'm hoping this part won't take too long, but... I can snip it at the bottom and don't worry about like add beads. I just gotta figure out what beads I like for the very top here. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm gonna pull this more through. I'm gonna leave myself a lot of room. And the one bad thing about having it on a spool is spool is that it's kind of twists. The wire is kind of twists like this. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is now I have tons of wire and I'm just going to wrap it around the eye of this part here, the ornament hanger, and pull it right through. And I probably did that wrong, but whatever. Whoa. Pulled it out. What I wanted to do was have it kind of click like that. And we have to pause the video. So now it's sturdy. Oops, now it's sturdy on there. Okay, I think I was out of picture right there, but I'm going to show you. See that little loop around the Christmas ornament? That's what I did so then it stays kind of centered when it's hanging and attached and not come out this way or come out that way, and it looks nice. Okay, so I think I was doing it, but I was out of camera. So now I'm going to try to do what Rita Marie did, was kind of match the colors. Now I was hoping to have this one more bronzy, but then when after the bronze, I put silver in to, to go into the crack places where the bronze wasn't, and I guess the paint just mixed and whatever. But it still looks neat, so I still have a, quite a neat... This is kind of reddish silver. This is gold, more goldy silver, and this is more purpley silver, as odd as that sounds. So I'm going to do my, I don't know, darker colors here, and I'm going to kind of put some beads together. I got a lot of, a lot of wire. So I'm going to be out of the picture for a second because I don't want to, like, crank it all up. And I'm just going to kind of wing it on this one because I can't remember how many beads she had. And I'm just going to, oh, isn't that pretty already? And I might have to put like a little bit of a different kind of finish on here. Tap it with my fingers with a different metallic luster, maybe with more of a bronzy or something. Or maybe even add like all the colors, like a rust and whatever. But, say la vie. So I don't know, like, I'm going to try. Now, this one's kind of clear, so I want to go with maybe a more. I, I actually bought some of these, and I want to make my beads for some of these. I want to do this again. But um, I bought some really neat, neat ones. I bought these at Walmart. These were pretty expensive. They're a huge bin. They were all glass beads. They are $15. <laughs> Crazy. But I bought three packs of these. A few of these went together. I don't know which ones. These ones went together. Um, the more rocky ones, the more rounded ones went together. Anyways, those were a dollar each at, at Walmart. And I did go a little expensive because I really liked the project watching Rita Marie do it. And I thought I really want to go kind of all out with it. So, stringing or wiring up this next bead. So I think I might go with five beads just because five is an uneven number and I think that would be kind of cool. So my bird is totally acting up because he's just made that way. 
and this one's got more blue. I might just throw a little blue in there. I don't think it really matters too much, but I'm going to go kind of with the lead that on Rita's video, this has got more red in it, so I'm kind of going to save some of the red for the reddish ones. Hers were much more pronounced in color. So that's four, and I think I'm going to go with a nice clear one here, kind of clear. And then the top, I will have like a lot more beads, and the bottom, I'll have more beads. So I think, but in between, I might just do this. So that's that. And you could do little beads in between, whatever. I kind of don't know. I kind of like the way it is. So I'm not even sure. Now I'm going to be stringing this one through and trying to get it straight. Kind of got a curve, like I said, it's on a, a wheel, a uh, sp spool, and then this one through. And I'm going to do that wrap thing around here again, and I'm going to pull these a little bit apart here. Well, that's kind of a lot, but so then I can get around the end really quick. Push these in. Push it down, and I'm going to get these around the ends of the bottle, or the top, but anyways, it's kind of like a bottle. Now I'm going to wrap this around here, guys. I'm going to try to be close. I'm going to grab my end, put it through, just pull it right through, and wrap it around. There we go, just like that. Can we see? Because this filming is just so great. Webcams. <laughs> Anyways, at least it's staying pretty sturdy in there. Yeah, it's professional. Isn't it? I could have went a little tighter. These ones are quite similar, so I want to look, okay, this is kind of orangey. I like that. So I'm going to go with that, I think. So I have five beads there. Do I want to get something thicker? <clears throat> I could go with a few more beads. Just oh, I like this. Look at this one. It's neat. Neat. Oh. So I can go. This would be six. So I'd have to go with seven if I want to be all weird. Weird like. I could go with this black. An orange one. So it's just kind of picking what I like here. This one's pretty interesting. So I think I'll go with these as you can probably, I don't know if you can see them anymore. So now I'm going with uh, seven just because I decided I wanted more <coughs> beads. Yeah, so I'm going to go with my orange. I'm going to do like an odd pink in there. This is kind of the pink. And that's kind of cool. And I'm going to go with this clear one. I'm not sure where I'm going with this. The colors are not quite going to match, but whatever. Now I'm doing this darker brownie orange. I don't like that one, so I'm going to take that one out. So, look at this one. I don't know. You know these different beaters. Like, oh, that looks pretty good. It's not quite what I wanted. So, yeah, this is kind of like, oh, yeah, you're, this is fun watching Eileen going through the beads, right? Come on. Okay, I'm going to go with this really fun color here, but the brown was just too dark. And. It's a little odd, but hey, the brown was just too. So that's that one. What we got so far, our little train of beads. So now I'm just going to put my next one in. Try to have my hand straight. Just 
just like that. Now you gotta really put a little bit of pressure on this part because you don't want space between your wires and then you can see more wire than you want to see. There's that. So when you wrap it around, you gotta make sure it's, it's snug. Snug. And that's about it, guys. I'll be back when I'm finished right. wiring. So I have like what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 beads for the top. What I want to do is I want to make a loop, them to loop in, down through, I think. So I've got these little beads I've chosen. These very, so I'm looking through here for way small beads, like much smaller than the other ones. So I, these could be my beads that are around my loop. Because this wire is like small, but I don't think it's going to like take anything too small. So I'm pretty much going to have to use these beads and yeah. and yeah, I make a little loop of some sort. So it's my thing, and I'm going to go back through a few of these beads and then wrap it. Oops, I'm going to go through back a few through a few of these beads and then kind of do a little wire wrap underneath and disguise it there. So let's see how many I need. I'm just going to grab them, not any particular order, throw them in and make a loop handle type of thing with these little beads, these smaller beads. <clears throat> what happened here? And then I can have like a little hook in the ceiling and hit, hook it up on these little glass beads. It's not too heavy, so it's not going to wreck the beads or anything. Yeah. And if you guys haven't noticed, Natty's over <laughs> for the week playing his computer games. So I'm just going to make, oops, okay, I'm not in the view, but I'm going to make a loop here, see? So I've got to make a few more. And that's my plan, and I'm sticking to it. Sticking to it. So I'm just kind of making my own little loop. I thought I could attach like a little necklace or like a belt or something like what Rita Marie had done, but I'm like, oh, I could probably get away with doing a little loop and wiring it back through. Here is my loop wiring it back through this one and then the next one hopefully it's thick enough next one if it'll go through can you see it am I doing that in view probably not sorry guys and then I'll go through the next one maybe pull it back up a bit here it's kind of hard to do this without um, looking. So I got it through this many. There we go. Now I've got to kind of figure out how I'm going to pull the one end snug like that, my little loop. And now I've got to make it back to stack over here so I'm going to have some space up above see it's okay I could just keep going I didn't make no kinks in it so it's just going to keep going around like this and I'm going to keep pulling it through Keep pulling it through till I have this perfect little loop right there like that. Now I just wire wrap it a few times around here. Choo 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 choo. And I'm done. Pull it tight. Don't want too thick so then you can see it in the space. Now it's perfect. Now I can hang it up. There's no spaces in between there, and I can hang it up with this nice little loop 
I want those little planter hangers or whatever little hook hangers I want. Now I just got to. It's very terrible. I'll go further up. That's a mess on my table. All this paint. Now I just have to do the bottom. Sorry guys, I'm going slow here. Sorry, I'm going so slow. So now I have like a gradual, this is quite the long end. See, and it's gradually shorter and then I can have like my tail now here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now for the end, I come to the end. I like that rock the way it is. I'm going to come down to, sorry guys, too crazy, to the table here. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing as I done the other way. I'm going to try my best to get this through this one. Pull it up. Pull the end up. Pull this through. Get to the next one. And I'm, going to, and I'm going to end it with the little, this really shiny green one at the bottom. And that'll be my stopper instead of like a B cap or anything like that. So I'm just going to do as many as I can through. And... That'll be my end of that. So now I'm just going to pull this through, shorten it up, put my cords down or my rocks down again. Oops. Again, I went a little tight on that last tug. Again, I'm going to pull it, it to the bottom of here. A little bit more of a Tug, and I'm just going to kind of tighten it up just like that and that rock's going to be right at the end like this and then I'm going to wrap this around little here um, show of this if there's any spaces in between that you don't like what you can do is right here like there's a little bit of a space here what you can do is grab your pliers grab that space twist it right in there and make that space a little closer. And, just, and you can't even see that you twisted the wire. There you go. Just like that. So maybe twisted. I'm picking it. Anyways, like that. So just do a little twist in between if you need to kink the wire just a bit to pull it tighter. And that's it, guys. I'll have a picture of it hanging up. And I think. It is done. So thank you, Rita Marie, for such an inspiration. And yeah, talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Don't forget to craft like a duck.